Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are good. Now see here, from our inorganic chemistry, we are starting our first topic that is coordination compound. And you deal, I know, you deal some compounds in a redox reaction topic and uh, you remove what oxidation number of that. Okay, so we will start our topic that is coordination compound. So see, what will happen in coordination compound so what is the coordination compound so very much important this uh, means uh, it is used in uh, medical chemistry okay in electroplating so variety of uses of our coordination compound so we will discuss here so you can write here whatever definition of this whole topic that is coordination compound so see here when say when metal atoms where metal atoms are bound to are bound to a number of anions bound to number of anions or neutral or neutral molecules okay when metal atoms are bound to number of anions or neutral molecules by neutral molecules by sharing by sharing of is yes, by sharing of electrons okay by sharing of electrons now see here what will happen by sharing of electrons or we can say this part by this sharing of electrons in modern terminologies we call it as a what coordination compounds okay so see here uh, most important part is what uh, now as you know uh, chlorophylls see here with a chlorophyll then hemoglobin okay chlorophyll hemoglobin okay then uh, as you know uh, vitamin uh, b12 okay so see chlorophyll chlorophyll beta which element mainly in complex form magnesium metal in hemoglobin is what beta yes iron when vitamin b12 what beta yes cobalt means these are also what beta here coordination compounds okay in that your magnesium metals are bonded to a number of anions or neutral molecules by sharing of electrons now in iron also means hemoglobin and in cobalt also okay so here like that how most important is our whatever coordination compounds. Okay. So, see here, uh, we will discuss here first that is addition or molecular compounds. Okay. So, see here, addition, addition or molecular compounds. So, addition or molecular compounds not to become right here see definition compounds which are formed by the see the compounds compounds which are formed see the compounds which are formed by the formed by the combination yes combination of simple salts combination of simply or we can say here combination of simply addition addition of two or two or more simple salts two or more simple salts okay the compounds which are formed by the combination of simply addition of what two or more simple Salts, okay. So this whatever uh, we can further classify as an addition or molecular compound. So see how we can classify it here. Uh, we can write as a double salts. What double salts? Okay. Now how your double salts are formed? Okay. So these are formed by the combination of two or more simple salts. How double salts are formed? These are formed by the combination of simple two or more salt. By the combination of two or more 
simple salts in equimolar proportion in what in equimolar is in equimolar proportions okay so whatever i am writing here so you have to write in your notes okay so it is very much important equimolar means equi means similar similar moles okay in proportion what similar moles now we will discuss here some properties okay in double salts we will discuss here some properties of the salts okay what is the properties of double salts first first we will discuss on dissolving water they dissociate completely into its their constituent water okay say on dissolving in water dissolving in water they okay on dissolving water they dissociate they dissociate into into its constituent ions okay constituent ions so second property they give positive taste Okay, so you may write here. They give, they give what? Yes, positive taste for each ions present in. Okay, they give positive taste for each ion present in that particular salt. In that salt means C. Either double salt property is what? On dissolving water, they dissociate into its constituent ions. Okay, and they give positive taste for each ions present in them, or you can say present in that particular salt. Okay, so these are what here we can say as a properties of double salt. Okay, so see here. Uh, one more uh, we can write here. Okay, after these properties, say we will see here one example. Okay, how uh, it will act like a property. Say, as you know, beta. Uh, suppose if we are taking example, okay, Cl dot MgCl two dot six H two. Okay, so as you know, how it dissociates. So how it dissociates. Yes, K plus yes, Cl minus. Okay, plus what beta? Mg two plus. Okay, like that it will dissociate. Okay, means they are giving positive taste for each and every and present in that salt. Okay, obviously because they are dissociating completely dissociating into its ions, so obviously they are giving what positive taste. Okay. So see here, we will discuss here, beta. And one more, we can write here third property regarding this double salt. They cannot maintain their identity. Yes, very much important. They cannot maintain their identity in aqueous solution. In aqueous solution. Because they are actually completely dissociated into its water. Understood? Okay. So we will see here second uh, coordination compound. We will see regarding coordination compounds. Okay. We will see regarding coordination compounds. So as you know, what are the coordination compounds? We saw examples also. So see the compounds which maintain identity in aqueous solution. Okay, the compounds which maintain yes identity identity in aqueous solution. How they maintain identity in aqueous solution? Because they does not completely dissociate into its water. Okay, understood. Or oh, you may write here beta as a first property. They does not dissociate. Yes. They does not dissociate 
completely in aqueous solution yes or no correct second second it does not uh, dissociate from weights in aqueous solution okay now okay now see one more important fact here is what so they does not give positive taste of each and every ion present in this coordination compound because they are what incomplete dissociate understood now suppose if you are taking example here of one coordination compound that is K4 FeCl6 okay K4 FeCl6 now here uh, now we will say we uh, will uh, observe here whatever coordination compound I wrote okay so whatever is square bracket okay so this square bracket we call it as a what coordination yes coordination sphere and jobi kuch bahar hai means either here okay or either here okay we call it as a what ionization sphere we call it as a what you know either this side or either this side we call it as a what ionization sphere means whatever these ions present here or either here they can displace Sure, and whatever part in the sphere means here, say you can observe here it is, it is a metal ion which is directly bonded to a this okay, it is a metal atom which are bonded directly bonded to the either ion or either neutral molecule. So, we give uh, we togetherly we call it as a what coordination compounds, okay. So, see here, these are what our regarding as an example of coordination compound see we will uh, discuss here uh, next part now one more thing here you have to keep in mind that is never your coordination sphere is ion means ionized only what whatever uh, say this coordination sphere never ionized this part or this part your ions okay it is very much important part okay now suppose if you are if you are dissociating this a4 a3 cn6 so how it will dissociate yes okay k plus okay so four here cross over valency and this FeCN6 what we done? 4 minus okay A plus plus FeCN6 4 minus okay so here we can write this as a simple cation means we can again differentiate this okay this what we done as a what you will get simple cation here you will get and what complex anion understood means k plus is what our simple cation and these are what complex anion okay now again we can differentiate see suppose if you are taking as a, another example say we uh, cobalt in its 3 6 and cl so what uh, you will get here on dissolving in water suppose if you are dissolving in water okay it is 3 6 so this crossover valence valency so 3 plus plus what we got 3 cl minus okay so here we can write it as a complete suppose see k plus okay and what here like that here k plus and fec in 6 4 minus so here what co means cross over valency okay so 3 cl minus understood so here what you will get here you will get now reverse of this means complex what complex cation part you will get here and here what simple anion understood beta what is going on here okay you will get what complex cation 
and simple align you will get okay now here one more example uh, you may mention that is say suppose i will write like this pt nh34 okay pt nh34 and pt cl4 okay so in this case in this case you must know here you have to show you have to write some common oxidation number of that particular metal okay so as you know here what these are what uh, platinum is what metal ion okay now see either platinum they are showing two common oxidation state okay which are those plus two and plus four now suppose if you write here plus four then this what becomes cl minus so whatever platinum oxidation becomes zero therefore one more important uh, oxidation number common oxidation number of your platinum is what plus two so you will get first part is cation and second part is what your anion so plus two and minus two understood so how it will dissociate it will dissociate into this plus two and is minus two means here in this case what you will get complex okay complex cation and what beta yes complex anion complex cation and complex anion now you may hear see you may uh, you can distinguish see after uh, combining or uh, after dissociating this what you will get Yes, you will get what simple cation this complex anion here what complex cation simple anion here what complex cation complex anion understood so these are examples of the cationic part and anionic part okay now we will discuss with our basic terminologies okay these are basic basic terminologies are very much important means uh, we can say the backbone of this topic means uh, whenever basic terminologies are okay, means like uh, the like uh, basic terminologies we uh, saw in every topic okay basic for suppose example uh, thermodynamics in that also we saw basic terminology system surrounding universe okay like that here also what some basic terminologies are there so write down that basic terminologies related to coordination compounds basic terminologies okay so first central metal atom first word beta central metal atom so it is very much easy central metal atom is metal which accept electron pair Okay, central metal atom is what which is which is accept electron pair okay electron pair from the other molecules or atoms to form a coordinate bond from the from the other molecule okay from the other molecule to form what yes to form here coordinate bond okay so generally here what will happen generally d block metal act as central metal atom very much remarkable statement generally generally d block elements generally d block elements act as a what acts as a central metal atom okay and why why it is like this due to so these also reason are very much important due to small size okay high nuclear charge what beta high high nuclear charge 
Okay, one more here we can mention that is third. See, non availability, non sorry, non availability, not availability. Sorry, availability of D orbital electrons. Availability of D subshell. D of shale electrons or we can say D orbital availability of D of shale electrons or availability of vacant okay vacant D of shale okay so see here uh, second term we can write here second term second term that is ligands I hope you are writing everything okay whatever I am uh, here discussing each and every word you have to capture and you have to write it in your notes and the show. So see here second basic term here this is what ligand. So here in basic terminologies uh, that is in ligands say these are the atoms or group of atoms. Okay. So these are what here? What is a ligand? So see ligands are what? These are the atoms or group of atoms which can donate their electron pair. We have to write these are the atoms. These are the atoms or or group of atoms. Okay, group of atoms which can which can donate their Donate their electron pair to central metal atom. Central metal atom to form to form what coordinate to form coordinate bond. Okay. So see here. It is for example, suppose if you are considering as a, this metal and this what is a ligand. It contain what lone pair. So these lone pair they are sharing with this metal, central metal, and forming what? Kul mila ke hamko kya milta hai idhar? Like this condition, okay? Miss whatever ligand they are donating their electron pair, and metal is accepting that electron pair, okay? And in between, jo kuch bhi tar ho raha hai, isko ham kya bolte? Coordinate bond, okay? Coordinate bond. Okay, so on the basis of number of donor sites, okay, like that here one donor site means one lone pair, one donor site, or either negatively charged. Okay, on the basis of number of donor sites, the ligand can be classified into following types. So ligands also here classification. Okay, so ligands also classification. So we call it as a ligand classification as a denticity of ligands. What we done? Denticity of Ligands okay means suppose one lone pair or as a one so carefully listen to this one lone pair one negatively charged okay or simple as a one molecule okay so we call it as a hot beta here denticity means so suppose one lone pair okay uh, monodented ligand like that uh, see one negatively charged or if any compound two negatively charged then bidented or didentate ligand like that the density of ligand so for we can write here as a definition of this density of ligand also the number of donor sites see, the number of donor sites presenting present in Molecule present in molecule okay, which can form which can form a coordinate bond, which can form coordinate bond with the central metal atom with central okay with central metal atom is called as 
is called as density of ligands it's called as density of ligand the number it is on the basis of number of donor sites present in molecule okay so here so basically i told hum uske whatever that ligand hum uske charge ke upar bhi classify kar sakte hain suppose one negative charge monoatomic two negative charge like that okay positive negative or either neutral okay so uh, we will uh, see here whatever types okay okay monodentate density okay monodentate bidentate or polydentate tridentate tetradentate theek hai see here. okay first monodentate ligands monodentate ligands okay so see here in monodentic ligands which having one donor sign simple monodentic ligands are what which having which having one donor sign one donor sign these are what is a monodentic in that suppose if you are considering anionic anionic ligands or we can write as a negatively charged ligand so as you know cl minus f minus br minus i minus okay in some cases beta no2 minus oh minus okay so these are what anionic monodentic ligands an ionic monodentic ligand so see here suppose if you are considering examples of neutral ligands so in neutral ligands say water then ammonia then carbon carbon monoxide not cobalt is what carbon monoxide no charge on this all compound वाटर पर भी कोई चार्ज नहीं अमोनिया पर भी कोई चार्ज नहीं आइदर पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव ऑन द कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड आल्सो देयरफॉर कॉल्ड इज व्हाट कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड ठीक है नाउ से कैटायोनिक लिगेंड्स कैटायोनिक लिगेंड्स सो कैटायोनिक लिगेंड्स से हियर इन एच4 प्लस एनो प्लस nitrosyl then ammonium cation also there ठीक है now suppose if you are considering examples of bidentate ligands ठीक है bidentate ligands now in bidentate ligands which having two donor sites yes or no which having two donor sites okay two donor sites so here you can mention two donor sites sigma oxalate what beta yes oxalate ion so oxalate ion as you know yes say double bond o this negative part C double bond o this negative part two negative charge that's why what oxalate ion simply some cases we can write or ox we can also call as ox as a oxalate ion okay one more we can write here e and that is ethylene diamine ethylene diamine ठीक है इथिलीन डायमाइन सीएल फार्मूला CH2 NH2 CH2 NH2 के लोन पेयर आर देयर CH2 NH2 टू लोन पेयर आर देयर अंडरस्टूड टू लोन पेयर आर देयर इथिलीन डायमाइन और सिंपली हियर वी कैन कॉल इट एज एन 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 इज व्हाट इथिलीन डायमाइन Understood. So these are what here 
as an example so beta monodentate and bidentate or didentate ligands okay see next uh, we can write here tridentate okay so see tridentate ligands tridentate ligands so in tridentate ligands as you know yes three donor sites okay three donor sites so in three donor sites we can write as i an is example here nh ch2 ch2 nh2 and here what ch2 ch2 nh2 so you can observing here three donor sites so we can write here diethylene trimeric what will be the name of this diethylene triamine a diene diene okay now say as an example of tetradentate so you can write as an example of tetradentate ligands here tetradentate ligands beta say in tetradentate ligands you can write say triethylene tetramine it's example so what triethylene triethylene tetramine tetramine okay so you have to you can write a formula also okay nh ch2 ch2 nh2 here what ch2 ch2 nh and here what ch2 ch2 nh2 1 2 3 and 4 okay so triethylene tetramine means four total donor site as an example you must write here okay as a example uh, you how to write this all tridentate tetradentate that means from first onwards okay from first onwards you have to write this all okay now we will discuss here say now we will discuss beta as a example of polydentate okay after this you have to mention next dentacity regarding dentacity that is yes what beta polydentate polydentate ligands okay so we will start polydentate ligands so as an example you can write edta okay it is what ethylene diamine okay ethylene diamine tetra tetra acetate in the amine tetra acetate it is what we did ta okay so you can mention here our structure also see as like this your structure in ch2 ch2 and means what ethylene diamine so here what we done yes here what tetra acetate so ch2 co minus okay and here what ch2 co o minus understood and here also say ch2 co o minus ch2 co o minus these are what yes these are what beta ethylene diamine tetra c tetra 1 2 3 4 tetra acid and these are what hexadentate ligand hexa dentate ligand total six donor sites 1 2 3 4 5 6 so understood i hope you understood whatever i am writing here okay tetra dentate 
polydentate, okay, hexadentate. Now see, we will uh, now after this ambidentate ligand. Yes, you have to concentrate on now ambidentate ligand. I hope you understood this all or and you note down in your okay you note down in your notes okay so see here ambidentic ligands ambidentic ligands so here see in ambidentic ligands these are the bidentic ligands write down here you know? these are didentic or you can write as a bidentic ligands okay which form coordinate bond which form coordinate bond bond which Coordinate bond through through one donor say which can form coordinate bond through one through one donor side side at a time at a time means here. Suppose if you are considering as an example, ambidentate, okay, cyanide, these are what we does Cn minus cyanide, so it can act as a, it can behave from this both these sides, but, but it can form coordinate bond through at a time from one donor side only, through one donor side at a time, okay, Cn minus cyanide. So see, I see like this, when they are coordinate from carbon, okay, so we can call it as a what, cyano and when they are joining with nitrogen, okay, when they are joining with nitrogen, we call it as a what, isocyano, okay, isocyano, so means ambient as an example is what, it can donate from the both the sides, but at a time from the one side only. Okay, either from carbon or either from nitrogen, as like this. So there at that time their names also will change. Understood? Okay. So see here. Another example is also there. It's Cn minus C S C N minus thiocyano thiocyano. Thio NCS okay. Iso thiocyano iso thiocyano. Okay. NO2. See another also we have NO2 minus we can call it as a what? Nitro. Okay. And UNO. UNO. We can uh, write as a nitride. Okay, but here in this coordination compound, we write like this nitrito N because it is bonded through nitrogen. And here, what? Nitrito O because it is bonded from with oxygen. Okay, I hope you understood this. All. Okay. Now see here one more uh, ligand regarding in denticity. Okay, denticity of ligands means our ligand only going on. Okay, whatever our third terminology here ligands regarding ligands. Okay, see flexidentic ligand. So what is the meaning of this? So basically, ये ज़्यादा पूछता नहीं है, but they may ask. आपको पता होना ज़रूरी है इधर, 
you can flick the dead thing in them. So right now, these are the pollinated ligands which do not necessarily use all their donor sites. Okay, these are pollinated ligands. Pollinated ligands. Okay, which do not which does not necessarily necessarily use all the donor sites all their donor sites to form to form coordinate bond coordinate bond with the central metal atom which does not necessarily use all the time all the donor sites to form coordinate bond with the central metal atom example you can write here as ADTA okay so these are what are the flexibility ligands understood so it is very much important all the parts uh, we discuss here basic terminology means first we discuss what is the meaning of coordination compounds where we can use so why variety of them in medicinal industry so much uh, very much important use of this coordination compound okay then after we uh, discuss whatever what is your basic terminology central metal atom ligands okay there we discussed the identity okay i hope you understood all this content and you remove notes also you revise all the greek notes whatever you wrote and you can share on your whatsapp okay if any doubts you can feel free to ask thank you very much